Hey guys, it's Ryan, back here for another video, guys. And you guys seem to love this pack, but I want to go ahead and start off right away before we open this pack, is say one thing. Do not open this pack for yourself. It is not worth it to open. A lot of people I don't think are understanding. When I am trying to, you know, pull these packs, and I'm getting excited for pulling these packs, obviously I'm not recommending any of you guys open up these packs because again these are a scam by EA they're not worth it they're definitely not you know something you should be going for or pulling these packs nonetheless though I am pulling these packs for you guys in entertainment and you guys have showed me plain and true you guys love me opening up these packs and as long as you guys love this content it will be uploaded over and over and over again because obviously you guys are loving these pack openings. So again, that's why I'm opening it again. I know it's crazy. I know this is like 480,000, 500,000 coin pack, but I'm doing it for your entertainment. So keep that in mind. I know some people thought I was trying to promote these packs. Heck no. These packs are crap. Nonetheless, so let's go ahead and take a look at the prices of some of the cards we could pull for this pack. We have some Team Diamonds. Of course, some of these being very, very inexpensive. My first pack I pulled... Um, I typically go ahead and link my first two pack openings up in the right-hand corner if you'd like to check them out. But let's go ahead and talk about the cards we want to pull. 92 plus overall Team Diamond card. We will go ahead and make a profit on this pack automatically. Our last pack opening, we pulled a card that was actually... What? almost 300,000 coins and we made all of our coins back instantly so again with these packs you can open this up and make your coins back so quickly by just going ahead and pulling one really good player and same concept with the 90 91 overalls now of course this is also applies to the legends whoever legend we end up pulling if we pull a piece or if we pull again a full legend like we did in our first one this can really help us out make our coins back with like that so again, guys, there's a lot of ways to make your coins back in this pack. And there's a lot of ways to make a crap ton of coins in this pack. The risk is definitely not the worth of reward because it's a 500,000 coin pack. But, for example, Team Diamond, if we pull a good Team Diamond, we can make our coins back. Harvest players, we can pull any of the all-star players, make our coins back. Um, Mutt Monsters, if we pull, like, let's say Calvin Johnson, the set completion player... If we pull Night Guardians, if we pull Mean Joe Green, stuff like that. So again, there's always a chance. But let's go ahead and, and <clears throat> stop delaying this and get right into the pack opening and see. Can okay, I luck this time? A little bit better than the last two times. Alright, let's go guys. Let's freaking go. We might open up some Game Changer packs after this. But our first player is going to be Morris Claiborne. So thank God it wasn't Tyler Boyd. This actually, we got Tyler Boyd every, oh, not Ty, I believe his name's Tyler. Okay, I put him twice and I actually forget his name now. Um, but nonetheless, though, we get Morris Claiborne. Second pack in the video is going to go ahead and be, our second player is going to be Rashad Jones. So this is a very, very crappy Team Diamond. Definitely not the player we wanted to pull. Again, I kind of expected the last two times I kind of pulled two decent ones so i kind of expect to get a bad one let's hit it from the back one time because i know somebody in my last video commented they love when i say that we pulled 78 of all kyle long so this might be a really big dud pack and his name is tyler boyd okay so um this might be a dud pack as we pull 80 of all cooper cup hit it from the back one more time we get our power up who is not tyree kill who i would love it to be tyree kill Next card right here, we're going to go ahead and get, this is a Harvest player, 76 overall Jordan Lewis. So, so far, very, very bad on the pack so far. 83 overall Leonard Floyd. This might be the worst pack I have seen of these potluck packs. Honestly, like so far, 84 overall Charles Clay is not bad. Um, but it's not looking too, too good for your boy here. We get a Hall of Fame, Terrell Owens. We knew that was going to be gold no matter what. Right here, we're going to go ahead and get a 80 overall J.J. Watt. So, at least it, it is technically an elite card. Um, right here, we get another Harvest player. 78 overall Toy Smith. So, honestly, I don't think there's any card right now. The only thing we have left is... Is that Mutt? No. I'm actually not sure the promo we have left. Is that... Wait, is it Silver? We have a Silver left. Oh, no. We have Legend. And we get 83 overall. Wait, did we not get all Silver? I thought... This was guaranteed to have a silver card. Unless the... I, I don't think the power-ups are silver because that's by itself, you know? That obviously is by its, um, 
That's its own promo. Interesting, but we get Tony G. Let me go ahead and check that out real fast. I'm going to open up some Game Changer packs in a second, guys, for you guys. But that was probably the worst pack I've ever opened, and that's why you don't go ahead and open up those packs. Uh, but is it guaranteed a silver? It is a silver. All right, that's a silver. Unless I'm completely blind and missing it, I did not get all my content. I want my dang silver EA. All right, am I missing this? Yeah, no. Hang on. One, two, three. Okay, five, ten, and then fourteen. Right? Is it supposed to be fifteen cards? Did I just get jammed out of one card? I mean, I don't care. It's a silver card, but I mean, come on. It's a decency of it. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, okay, man. Thirteen different programs. Okay. I don't know. That's weird, though, because I did not get a silver for this. I got my power-up, my legend. I got everything here except for my silver card. Wow. Okay. Yeah, again, I'm not trying to, like, make a fuss about it. The last two times I opened this pack, I got a silver card. So, that's kind of weird how this time I did not. And we actually got 14 promo cards, but 13 different promo total. Okay, so that's kind of weird. I wonder if I got an extra... If you guys know what card I got extra, then tell me down below because that's weird. All right, so let's go ahead and open up some Game Changer Packs. We'll see what we can get other than getting uh, Sham by EA there and not getting my card I want. And what? Do we have Game Changer Packs? We do. Okay. I was about to say, we better have Game Changer Packs, man. Because we have a legend, limited time legend in the game. And I need to go ahead and try to my best to pull him. And we get, oh, a Harvest player, 79 of all theoretical. Okay, I thought that was going to be good. Harvest player, 79 of all BJ Goodson. And we finish this off with a Harvest player, 76 of all Wes Schweitzer. Schweitzer, whatever you say his name. Uh, not, a bad, not a bad pack. Well, definitely a bad pack, but definitely nice to see three of those in one pack. So let's go ahead and hit from the back one time. Nope, nope. Okay, here is a Harvest player. Okay, 77 of all. Another Harvest player. 78 of all. Can we stop getting gold cards, please? Okay. And while these packs are <coughs> dry, they are drier than anything I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and hit it with the Mutt Hero. Not Mutt Hero pack. Oh my god. Harvest pack. Now, of course, I got these with Mutt Awards, and they were actually pretty decent. But I've seen a lot of people pull the 93 of all All Star players. So if you could slide one in my pack, yay. Very, very appreciative. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can pull out of this one, though. We got a Harvest pack. And that's not going to be an Elite. That's not going to be anything. And ew, ew, ew. We're going to finish this video off with a Gold or Better pack. Not the best, guys. Definitely not the best pack luck in this video, which, I mean, I kind of expected. The first two times I opened this pot luck pack, I was actually getting pretty decent pulls. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. But, obviously, I knew I was due for a dud. So, of course, this is my dud pack. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what, how many coins we actually got back from this pack. So, we got, it looks like, what, eight cards now? Yeah, so eight cards total. And obviously this guy being the most expensive card we pulled. So let's say around 54,000 coins total from that. Uh, and I'm just going to count the elite cards. I'm not going to go with the gold cards. Obviously the gold cards are, you know, it's whatever. I mean, they go for a certain value. I'm not going to try to go into that. So I'm just going to go roughly count with the tax included on some of these cards. And see how much we made back. After all is said and done. Now, of course, I don't expect to make much coins back at all. Because we did get a dud pack. And my dang silver was not in there. I'm complaining to EA, guys. I'm complaining to EA because I did not get my silver. I want a free potluck pack because I didn't get my silver. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. And our last player, our last elite player. So, obviously, 9 counting the gold cards. We made back 137,000 coins. So theoretically speaking, obviously we spent a crap ton on Game Changer Packs. Uh, about 147 of it. But total from this whole entire thing, I think we spent like 200 some odd thousand. Uh, other than the solo challenges on this pack. 
We made back 137k, so theoretically that's not that bad. Um, obviously we'd like to make more of a profit than that, but I mean, so we, we wanted to make a profit that is a loss, but we could have lost worse than that. So I'm gonna give it to that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.